friends. Hello friends. Welcome back to study with Manjula and I am your friend Manjula Sri. So I am part 5. I have stopped half of the diagram. So now I am going to say the remaining parts of the diagram. So in that the fourth one is the meander. The fourth one is the meander. What is a meander? At some places the river takes very large bends. Like for example here I am going to show one diagram see. So, in many uh, places, what this river will do is, it will take many large bend, bends, right? So, the bend is known as the meander. So, that meander is represented in this diagram, okay? So, this bend, this one is known as the meander, known as the meander. What is the meander? The large bends of the river is known as the meander. Now we are going to learn about the delta. Okay friends, so now we are going to learn about delta. So, you are confused? Is there no diagram is present here? Okay, I just want to first explain then I want to show the diagram. Okay, so how these deltas are formed are near the mouth of the river there will be large land areas in triangular or any other shape. At that time what happened is if a river is coming here, this river just come in this way and again joins. Right? It joins again and again continues its path. Right? So this way of division of the river is known as the delta. Not smaller rocks. Because of the smaller rocks, if it forms, not it will never become a delta. Delta is which divides a very large area. If this river is divided by a very large area, then it is known as the delta. If you take a triangular small rock, if the river flows like this, then it is not known as the delta. Okay, so there is a small history about the delta. So this delta is derived from the Greek word delta which means triangle. So this word was first used by a Greek historian Herodotus, who is also known as the father of history. Greek scientist Herodotus is also known as father of history. When we learned about the introduction to history, we have learned about him, right? So, this Herodotus have used the word delta in describing the river Nile. Okay. So, in the world, the Gangetic Delta, the Delta of Ganga and the Brahmaputra is largest in the world. Which deltas? The delta of Ganga and the delta of Brahmaputra is the largest delta in the world. So now I want to so show the diagram of the delta. It was not able to draw the di diagram. So you can find here the picture, right? This picture. See, these are the triangular lands, right? So, this is the river. You can find. See, this is the main river they have written. And the distributaries. From the river, these rivers are being distributed. And if the water joins into the river, then it's known as what? Tributary. So, this place is known as the delta. Okay. Okay, friends. That's about the delta. Now, I'm going to explain our next diagram. Okay friends, the next diagram is anticline and syncline. Now what are these anticlines and synclines? So these are the lines. What? In the world you can find the line. Right? So what are these anticline and syncline are? At some places the compression of the place. Compression means what? Press. Compression means what? Pressing. So because of that high compression or high pressure, this land, it will form waves at some places. Not small, small, small waves, very large waves. Like I have said about the meander with very large turnings. 
in the same way above, uh, the land will become very large waves so at the time the place is known as anticline i mean anticline and syncline so these places will form the folds curved folds they will form so the upper ones whatever is smaller like this ones is known as the anticline the upper fold is known as the anticline and this lower ones this lower one is known as the syncline okay now we are going to learn about the block mountain okay friends now in front of you you can find a diagram of the block mountains so what are the block mountains in the word block what's the meaning of the block squares or the rectangles blocks right so how this block mountains are formed are because of the default movement of the earth's surface the land just breaks into blocks and settle at a place if that blocks raise then it will form a block mountain understood so once again and explain see if this is the earth surface this this is the earth surface if um, the movement of the surface if it's a default movement some of the areas just forms the block or some of the hills just form as the blocks when these blocks grow how they will grow when the sand or the whatever the sedimentary rocks or what are the sediment particles just form there it will form as the high places so when this blocks raise then these blocks are known as the block mountains we know what is a valley right what is a valley the river or a stream which flows through the two mountains or two hills it's known as a valley so Th this valley when flows between two block mountains is known as rift valley what it is known as rift valley the valley which flows between two block mountains then the valley is known as rift valley okay so with this we have completed the representation of geographical features full chapter now i am going to release the answers of the questions which i have asked in the part 1 what are the questions question of the lesson right so i want to reveal the answers so in front of you you can find the answers of the questions i have not written the question okay so these answers of the questions i have also given in the description please check over okay the first answer what's the first question actually who is known as the father of geography the answer is it is sorry it is eratosthenes eratosthenes who is it eratosthenes the next one is who invented the globe and the map globe was invented by Martin Bahaim Martin Bahaim I mean Bahaim map was invented by Anaximander invented by Anaximander now what is the size of the earth the third question was what is the size of the earth the answer is 1 crore 27 lakhs 56274 kilometers in international system if you see please change the commas if you change the comma see 1 2 3 here if you keep 12 millions 756274 kilometers okay this is the size of the earth okay children we have completed the representation of geographical features full chapter please wait for the next videos and the next classes to be updated till then stay home stay safe and stay happy keep learning thank you